Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today I thought we would do another kind of like clean with me, so like a realistic, trying to keep on top of my house basically. So I've made a little bit of a start, but I thought let's grab the camera before we do anything else so you've not missed too much. Um, what I have done is I have popped my like covers, um, the kind of like scatter cushion covers, they're all in the wash and they are in the dryer, so once they're done, the weather's a little bit hit or miss today. I was planning on popping them on the line, but I don't really want to risk it. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I like to get this bed and set washed and dried in a day. It's my favourite one. Um, so that's currently drying. So I thought while that's doing its thing, let's tackle the rest of the bedroom. So let me just flip this camera and we'll talk through what's going on up here. Okay, so my plan is, I've just like thrown literally everything that I'm going to be using on the bed. The Hoover's just outside the door. Um, I've just picked this up so I can have on the go. I picked this up in Home Bargains actually. Um, it's like a protein pre-made up shake, but it's got 35 grams of protein in. I had a vanilla one yesterday. Vanilla's like my favorite, but I thought I would try the chocolate as well. So um, we're gonna have that as well to keep us going. So I want to pull the bed out. So we've got about um, this much space. It's enough space for me to pull out and get to this bit that the hoover won't reach. Um, the reason I want to do that, guys, I sold something from Vinted. Um, that was under the bed, and there's so much dust under there, which is to be expected. I do pull this out a few times a year, though, so I was a little bit shocked, honestly, at how bad it was. So we're going to hoover that. I think it's because we've got the, um, the like, hard, like, not carpet up here. It's kind of like the LVT floor, and so it kind of attracts it. I mean it balls together so it's quite easy to like keep on top of but yeah I need to do that. There's so much junk under there from like storage. We've got Penny's cot sides under there. Um, her bed's like a whole new another story but I've got that in there. We've got the shower for the downstairs bathroom and that eventually gets done. So I just want to just lift it out, hoover it and then push it back. Everything needs a dust, the whole floor needs to be hoovered and we need to mop today. Um, I've got bits for Vinted dotted all around, so I've taken pictures of it all. I need to just upload it and then actually put it in the cupboards away in storage because it's just taken up the whole floor. So we've got a few little bits today to do today. Then I think I'm going to head down into the front room and give that a really good clean. So I need to pull the sofa out because it's not good under there either, guys. So I feel like today's going to be more of like a deeper clean with me so I hope you enjoy I'm going to stop rambling now and put you on the tripod and get on with it but don't forget to give the video a thumbs up Just come and say hi in the comments um all the engagement really helps support my channel and if you're not already I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button and joining me here thank you so much for all the support and love so far um but yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button we're gonna go now we're gonna go and get our clean on so enjoy Hello everybody, so I thought I would just very quickly pop on. I'm gonna do a voiceover just in certain parts of this video. I know I've like introduced it and it was quite a long introduction, um, but I'm just popping everything that's on the floor on the bed so we can drag it out. And I really, really, really forgot how heavy this bed was to move. So um, yeah, I'm fully dragging it with all my might on the floor, <laughs> just yanking it across the floor. Um, but you don't actually see me hoovering anything because the angle of the camera, the footage was just awful and you couldn't see anything. Thing. So in a moment you'll see me pushing the bed back in almost as though it didn't happen but it did there was so much dust under there so I'm so glad I got that job done um, and then I'm just going to crack on and hoover behind all of the bedside tables dust the tops of the bedside tables you know the usual and then we're going to go in on the skirting boards as well before we hoover and put the new clean covers on the bedding.
and then we're just hoovering the rest of the floor. So I'm using my upright hoover again up here. I'm just preferring this hoover to my handheld Dyson. I do think the Dyson um, is on its way out, if I'm being honest. It just doesn't seem to pick up, and I fully, it's not blocked. I make sure the filters are all clean. So I just feel like this one does a much better job. So when I get a handheld again, I think I might look at a shark one. Um, rather than the Dyson. But yeah, I'm just finishing the hoovering of the floor and um, just pottering around, putting some washing away before we make the bed. So if you can see my chair here, I've literally piled it with everything on the floor. I've got so much stuff that needs to go on vintage, so I really, really, really need to get that done. Because um, I want to just organize my cupboards that are storage up here because with um, Christmas coming up I have started to buy a few bits and pieces Christmas gift wise for the kids um, and I want to be able to like have them away so the kids can't see them but obviously quite accessible for when I'm doing hauls and that sort of thing so I really need to sort these cupboards out there's a few vintage boxes that I need to go through um, and yeah just clear some bits out but just excuse that huge pile over there on my chair it's um, or organized chaos shall we say just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go and that's why i wish you the best and say goodbye you start to get dressed and then Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories. And then just like that, fresh sheets are going on to the bed. So I always get questions on this. I do, well, I try to link it in my videos. Um, this is the Billy range um, from Dunelm, and I absolutely love it. They do still have it. Um, I got mine when they had 20% off, because it is a little bit more on the pricier, I would say on the pricier side. I wouldn't usually spend that much money on bedding. Having said that, I have had it for a couple of years now, and we... I hardly ever change it. I've always pretty much got this one on. Um, I'm just spraying the Lenore Crease Release because did you just see the magic there of the sheet? It goes on. I do not iron. I like I iron the bare minimum, guys. Like I'm talking school shirts and that's it. Whatever I can get away with not ironing, I'm not going to iron. Bedding definitely does not get ironed. My sister thinks I'm crazy because her and my mum both iron their bedding, but I think they're crazy. Let me know in the comments if you iron your bedding actually. This will be this will be a little fun um, thing. Do you iron your bedding? Yes or no? But I do not. So I spray crease release and then just tuck everything down really tight and then creases be gone. I will also spray it on my quilt cover when I flip it over and it's just literally magic in a spray bottle. That's why I wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So oh, baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. And then we're just sorting out a basket of washing. I've been really keeping on top of my washing in terms of not only washing it, but actually putting it away once it's dried 
and I've taken off of the area. So I tend to sort everything out in my room and what I'm doing here is just sorting it into piles. Then you may think I'm crazy because I then pop it back into the basket. The reason I do that is I'm just popping Penny's, Darcy's and Ollie's in the basket because obviously their bedrooms are on the floor below mine and Tom's bedroom. Um, and I'll take the basket down and then put, put it all in their bedrooms, put it away. I tend to leave Darcy, she's very good at putting hers away. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in the head over and make sure my bits are all put away. That way I don't forget to do it and it won't sit on my floor for days and days and get dusty. Cause I'm full of myself Boy, don't you worry You'll find someone Someone who wants you back But that is not me So give it up Haven't you had Hey everybody So it is the next day now Um, I kind of got a little bit lost Yesterday with my cleaning Um, Because one thing led to another And I had to go and pick my son up from school Usually um, my husband will, he works really locally to where my son goes to school because um, although it's local it isn't so his old school we could literally just walk to um, but we have to drive to his newer school, his newer school, his new school yeah and like I said my husband usually will do the school run um, but he was stuck on a job yesterday so he wasn't able to so um, obviously myself and Penny went to get him and then the motorway ended up being closed. There was an accident. It's the second day in a row, actually. Um, so all of the roads were completely gridlocked. So it took us an hour and a half to get home. So by the time that had happened, Ollie's football then got called off, um, his football training, just because they have coaches coming in from like all over the, um, the district. And basically nobody could get there. So my daughter has a full ballet dress rehearsal today for her show. So I've been really, really busy this morning getting everything ready. Um, she had to go like with her full hair and makeup done. So um, yeah, we were rushing around a little bit and actually my son has gone to work with my husband. He literally loves it. He thinks that's like a great day out. So it's just me and Penny girl again today. Um, and yeah, I've just been having a little bit of a slow morning, but I thought, let's pick up where we left off. So in terms of my bedroom, obviously you saw me changing the bed, hoovering the floor. I've not yet mopped up here yet. I thought I would do that in a second, but I actually need to go down. So we're just gonna flip this video um, and all of the makeup brushes need to be washed. So these are all of mine. Um, and I was using quite a few of them today. So I thought, let's go and give them a wash because it's actually nice and sunny outside. So I could probably lay them out in the sun that way they dry um, really fast. And do I need to dry, do any of these? No, probably not, those ones are okay. Um, yeah, so I thought we would continue our video. So we'll go and wash um, these brushes. And then actually, I think I'm gonna get the carpet cleaner out um, and we're gonna do the rug for sure in the front room. And I really want to do the stairs so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of that because um, I should do because I have got about another three four hours until Darcy's done um, I don't think my husband's gonna be home very early today because he's so busy at the moment which we're obviously really really grateful for because my husband um, he's like the sole provider effectively in our house so yeah we're really grateful for him but it just means I'm holding down the fort a lot at home and Penny is in her, I'm not complaining about this in the slightest because oh, she's definitely my child, but she's in her, I don't want to leave the house era. So at the moment, she is currently in her Elsa dress, um, sat on the sofa and she just asked for a film to be put on. So I've just cut her an apple. So she's having a little snack. So I thought while she's occupied with that, let's run upstairs. And I, you know, I wasn't actually gonna film today, but I thought, this is what happens all the time. Sorry, I was just facing my door, so it just makes me go really dark. Um, yeah, this is what happens all the time, but I thought, let's pick the camera up and we'll carry on. So I hope you don't mind that we've jumped a day. Um, basically, this is what happens in my videos, guys, with, um, my life is crazy. Like, who remembers, actually, who's been here that long that can remember when I used to be able to get a cleaning video done and dusted in one day because, that certainly does not happen anymore. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is, guys. But um, as long as I just like to show real life, if I'm being honest. And this is the reality of, um, you know, kind of like being the, what do they call it? Being the, like the primary parent. Sorry, just completely giving you a really weird angle there. But yeah, being the primary parent who's always like the default parent, I think. Because um, obviously I'm the one who's always home with them. So 
yeah, I just thought I would show you kind of like how I manage my day. Don't get me wrong, I probably could have got a lot more done today, but I thought I need to just be present, especially with um, my eldest daughter doing her ballet and whatnot. She needed all of her hair and makeup done. So yeah, we had a nice little time doing that and we've not done much else, but um, that is sometimes how it goes. But I'm just gonna do the drying up. So if I'll just spin the camera around. I'm just gonna do the drying up now. Um, there's a little bit of washing up in the sink, so I'll do that so we've got like a clear space and then we will get through this little mountain. I'm probably going to put the sponges, to be honest with you, in the washing machine, I think. I think I am. I've got like a little bag, a mesh bag, and I've done it before and they come up absolutely amazing. So I'm probably going to put this in the washing machine, but yeah, I do need to give my makeup brushes a good clean because... They are, they're not too bad, but they need to be cleaned. So yeah, let's get that done. Okay, so I'm just using this little silicone brush pad. I think I got this in Primark. It was only a couple of pounds. I've had it for a few years, but it's just great because can you see the different, um, like different levels? So it's all raised to different heights, but it's really great for when it's the brush is wet. By the way, all I will use is just like a really tiny amount of dish soap. Um, and it just really helps like when you swirl the brush around to all these different levels it really helps get right in there and get all of the makeup out i'll just give them a little rinse under the tap and then i've just got out this um like dish drying pad i use it sometimes when i'm washing up if i've got a lot and i need it to dry and then what i think i'm going to do is i'm not going to pop it outside i'm actually probably going to lay them all out like this once they're clean and so on um, I'll show you obviously once it's done and then I'm thinking I'm going to go and pop it on the floor in my bedroom just in front of our double doors that way the sun shines in this kind of like time of day like in the afternoon and they should hopefully dry um, in a few hours so that is my plan so I'm going to set you up now um, and then we will see how much we manage to get done Had enough. I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'm gonna be that girl to the end don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Or you really need to understand This was so satisfying watching this back guys But I definitely don't clean my brushes anywhere near as often as I should But um, I do really like this cleaning pad It actually was from Primark because I found the sticker Up in my storage basket in my bedroom That had come off of the bottom and it was £2.50 It may have gone up in price now because I did get this I think maybe about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, but I was just gonna ask if anybody has tried, I think the brand is called Isofix, something like that, but it's a spray um, and you spray the brushes and then obviously just work them around on a cloth to get the makeup out and it's pretty much dry instantly and obviously sanitizes the brushes so i think i might invest in that because the reason i'm probably not as good as cleaning my brushes as i should be is because of the drying time after um so i feel like that might be a better option for me but if you want something um to do like this i would definitely recommend one of these little pads because otherwise it does take a lot longer if you don't have like different surfaces that you can just really get into the brush and get all of the makeup out of yeah, 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 and I never want to be your girlfriend, girlfriend, no, I don't want to be your girlfriend, girlfriend, all I want to be my girlfriend's girlfriend, so I don't want to be your girlfriend, girlfriend, no, 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 girlfriend, girlfriend, no, 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 girlfriend, girl. Okay, so that's that job done i didn't actually need to clean all of them because i've got quite a lot in there to be honest and these are the ones that i use um so can you see what i mean about the sun coming in it kind of this time of the day um it shines here for a good amount of hours to be honest so hoping i'll just leave those there obviously no one really comes up to my room anyway so they should dry nicely Okay, now what did I say at the start? I wanted to clean the rug and the stairs with the carpet cleaner. Did I get this done in today's video? No, I didn't. So I wanted to come on. The reason I'm 
coming on in just explaining is because I wanted to just show that this is what happens when you've got like a busy house and you're being pulled in a million different directions. Sometimes you don't manage to get done what you wanted to get done and things don't always go as planned, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. We got other jobs done instead, but stay tuned for carpet cleaning because that is definitely in the works and has been filmed for you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of like what happens when I don't manage to get my plans done essentially so um this day i think i explained it was so busy because i had both the kids not at home with me i only had penny and i just didn't have it in me to get the carpet cleaner out and set it all up so instead i knew the hallway needed a once over the front door especially which is what you just saw me cleaning and um yeah it just needed to be dusted because guess what our heating has been clicking in i don't know if anybody else's has we've got it set that if it goes below a certain temperature i think it's like I think it's 18 or might be 17.5 so if it drops below that the heating will click in so it hasn't been clicking in for very long it's mainly the mornings because this morning when I went to drop Ollie to school it was four degrees it was so cold it's just got cold all of a sudden and I find with that in turn it's more dusty um so yeah I am glad I managed to get this done but definitely I need to Give the carpets a good clean so stay tuned for that video because we are deep cleaning the kitchen you haven't seen that for a while actually in a cleaning video and we have got lots and lots of carpet satisfaction but here we're just giving stairs a good wipe over they come up really well actually it is just um painted in gloss and it just wipes over so well all of our paint in our house is wipeable just for the fact that three children and a dog the amount of things I constantly have to wipe off of every surface in my house is crazy. Um, but yeah, we managed to get it all done. So I just wanted to tell you to just keep doing what you're doing and if things don't get done, it is absolutely fine. It will get done at some point and not to stress. And then I'm just going in with, once the mirror is done, I'm just going in and actually sweeping the floor. I prefer to do this. If you've seen my other cleaning videos, you'll know that this is my preferred way of cleaning the floor. So this is like a silicone brush. And especially with my dog, he honestly, I didn't actually look into it before I got him. I have never known a dog shed like Clifford. It is crazy. Um, but this just gets everything together. If I just go straight in with the hoover, I feel like it blows it everywhere and I can miss bits. So what I do is I just sweep it all into a pile, then I'll hoover that up, quickly just run around with the rest of the floor just to make sure nothing has escaped my brush. Um, and then we will be going in with our steamer mop today. So um, I have added to it some of the Marks & Spencer's floor cleaner in the sweet orange scent. It is so lovely. I've also got it in the multi-purpose spray and the house just smells incredible once the floors have been done. You will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
the end of this video so thank you so much for watching if you've made it all the way to the end thank you i really really appreciate it and like i said at the start if you've not already please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and if you're not already i'd love for you to hit that subscribe button it just means you're following along with me here on youtube and i'd really really appreciate it it really helps support my channel it's not something you pay for it's just like engagement essentially like you would on any other social media platform um but i will see you in my next video bye everybody I don't need